welcome to Self Care Sunday. My name is Leslie and I'm the Reading Safari and Stream Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today we are going to learn a bit about zines, which can look like these. Here's a few examples and we are going to learn how to make one, a simple one. Um, for starters, if you haven't heard of what a zine is, a zine is basically, it's a homemade publication. Um, it is, you know, normally just, it's got some, you know, art words, and then it's distributed widely. Sometimes they are sold and sometimes they are free. And um, they are pretty cool things that can be about anything. Um, you can make a zine about animals, you can make a zine about politics, you can make a zine full of poetry or drawings or anything like that. Um, the one that we're going to make today is just going to be a basic zine um, about, it's going to be about whatever you want, but um, we'll get to that later. For now, we are going to talk about some of the history of zines, which is really, really fascinating. So zines got their start in the 1930s as a means for sci-fi fans to publish their analysis and um, sometimes their own fan fiction for the science fiction that they read. Um, there was art that was published and things like that um, into the 1950s and the 1960s when the beat generation was uh, was getting moving. There were increasing um, amounts of these underground publications um, to spread news of the counterculture and um, ideas beyond the mainstream. Um, into the 60s and 70s, there were art and literary zines. Um, they were getting more political. Um, there was activism, politics, art inside of them. Um, and into the 80s, we have some of the, the punk zines. They were, they were very political. A lot of them were about music. And then into the 90s, um, with the Riot Girl movement, we had uh, feminism and sex and chaos as themes of zines from that time period. Um, now, there are, um, I don't know if there's a particular movement now, uh, although it has, zines have become very much a widespread phenomenon. I think um, just so many people have either tried to publish one or have read them or things like that. And so there are just a, uh, a varied amount of things that these zines are about today. So I've got three zines that I want to show you examples of um, because I feel that these are you know, they're all pretty different. So I want to give you an idea of what zines can look like. Um, the first one is one that I already showed you. It is this little pink paper. It is actually made from a full piece of paper. It's just folded to make a little zine. And um, we're going to learn how to make one of these in a little bit. But it's called Everybody Wants a Pen Pal, But Nobody Wants to Be a Pen Pal you know? And then inside it talks about, you know, here's how to be a pen pal. And it's got some more tips. And then you've got the end, which, you know, says here, here's a playlist and here's the person who made it. And it's very simple. You know, these are very, very easy and fun to make. So that's a very, very simple one. Um, there's another one. This one is um, very, it's a little more complicated than the one I showed you. Uh, this is primarily, it's mimeographed art by the author. So, and then she's got some, she's got some words in here too. And this one's just very cute. It's all in black and white. Um, and it's just kind of a fun little thing. And here is the person who made it. And the last one I'm going to show you is, you can see it's a uh, very much more, it looks more professional 
and um, you know, like they, there was some budget that went into this. So this is, um, it's got poetry in here. It's got some art. So here's some poetry. Um, and then we've got like a spread here in the middle of the photograph and some more poetry. And that's what we've got for this one. This one, I will show you. There is the author of this if you are interested. Um, these are all excellent. This one, out of all of these, this one is my favorite uh, because it's got poetry in it and I love poetry. All right, to make a very simple zine of your own, you will need one piece of printer paper, one pair of scissors, and one writing utensil of your choice. We're going to take this piece of printer paper and we're gonna fold it hot dog style. Okay, just like this. You make a nice crease in the middle and you've got this. Now we open it up again and we're going to fold it now hamburger style. Love those burgers. Here we go. Okay, we've got our hamburger. Now we're gonna open it up again and we're gonna make a couple more folds. So we're gonna take each edge of the paper and fold it into this middle crease right here, okay? So let's do that real quick. I'll show you when I'm done what that looks like. All right, so I took the edges and I just folded them there right to the middle like that, okay? So now we've got this. This is what it looks like. We're gonna do one more fold to make our hamburger again. And here's where the scissors come in. You're gonna take your trusty scissors. You're gonna take your folded edge, not this one that has the two open pieces, but this folded edge and you're kind of cut a slit right on this line to this middle, okay? So I'll show you that. It's just like that, you see, we got a little slit. You open your page up one more time and we're gonna go back to hot dog style, okay? So now we've got this. You've got your little hole here in the middle, you see? We're gonna push this together like this and fold our pages. And this is our eight page zine. So now that you have your zine all folded, you can number the pages. I did uh, mine with a pencil. Some people like to open up the zine and lay it out so that you can just work on it like this. Um, I prefer to work on it like this, so one page at a time. So it really is up to you. But it, you know, if you're gonna lay out the sheet of paper, then it's a good idea to number the pages so you know where they are, you know, so you know what order they're gonna be in. I have made a very, very basic zine with just my pen. Keep in mind that my um, drawing skills are stopped improving in about the third grade. So this is what you get. My zine is about summer. It is just extremely, extremely simple. Summer, a zine by Leslie. So I talk about summer and how, you know, the days stretch like a cat waking up from a nap. I talk about what we like to play in the water. We like to pick veggies from our garden. I talk about how I like to lay in the hammock for hours and what I like to eat, like popsicles, snow cones, a watermelon. Here's a snow cone. There's a watermelon. And then yay for summer. So this is just pretty much as simple as it gets, but you can make zines that are far more intricate and elaborate. Um, you can use collage. You can do, use collage as a medium, paint, um, colored pencils, really whatever you like. The thing about um, zines is they can be, so the one I made is very lighthearted. It's very simple. 
Um, I, I didn't spend, you know, a ton of time on it. And um, because I, I wanted to show you that they can be just a very simple thing. It doesn't have to be anything that is elaborate, but I did spend, there is one that I have to show you that I did spend a lot of time on. Um, I made this at a conference um, and I used a piece of construction paper and uh, cutouts from magazines, cutouts from books. And um, it was uh, about, this scene is called the rise of one mammal, mother of three, okay? Um, so you can see I kind of crossed out the, the S on mammals and uh, to make it more specific to me, because this is a story of postpartum depression. Um, and what I did, oops, I dropped my, I dropped my zine. Um, I made the zine into, so I made this one big spread for these pages. Instead of making these kind of like separate pages, I made them one kind of big page. Um, I took some things that I felt back then, says I'm obviously desperate. It's all a blur. Something is missing my voice. Let's go find it. And then here is, you know, me going to find my voice. Um, it says way of the warrior right there. Um, so through the cosmos, through the trauma, through the heartbreak into acceptance. So this is kind of my um, journey through that experience. And here we have a mama and baby and it says, yeah, I'm here. I'll always be here for you. So this is the zine that I made. Um, I spent, you know, a good amount of time on it because, you know, I just saw the materials. It was a zine making station at a conference and I just got to work and I just spent some time on it and apparently I needed to. Um, afterward, I was just kind of shocked at how uh, much of myself went into this. I wasn't even thinking about this experience that I had at the time, but um, because of, you know, these creative materials that were laid out in front of me, I was able to make something and tap into that part of myself. And I just really love this zine. It's a great, it's a great example of one, you know, making mistakes because you see I couldn't fit all of trauma right here um and you know I had to like cross this out and put my voice instead of your voice and you know like I showed you on the cover correct this so it was it was applicable to me but that's the cool thing about zines is that you know a lot of them are very imperfect you know just like us they don't need to be perfect um so that I think is where the self-care comes in. You can make a little story about yourself or about anything. And it can be a very, very healing process. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave you now. Um, I hope that you will sit down, you know, with some materials, whatever, whatever your heart desires, whatever you need um, for self-care. I hope you will sit down. I hope you'll make a zine. I hope you will post it on your social media and tag us because I'd love to see what you do. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.